Day 85, Joshua 12-15 through 15. The Kings Defeated by Moses Now these are the kings of the land, which the children of Israel smote, and possessed their land on the other side Jordan, toward the rising of the sun, from the river Arnon, unto Mount Hermon, and all the plain on the east. Sihon king of the Amorites, who dwelt in Heshbon, and ruled from Aror, which is upon the bank of the river Arnon, and from the middle of the river, and from half Gilead, even unto the river Jabbok, which is the border of the children of Ammon, and from the plain to the sea of Chinneroth on the east, and unto the sea of the plain, even the salt sea on the east, the way to beth Jeshemoth, and from the south and under ashdoth Pisgah, and the coast of Og, king of Bashan, which was of the remnant of the giants that dwelt at Ahtaroth and at Edre, and reigned in Mount Hermon, and in Salca, and in all Bashan, unto the border of the Jeshurites and Machathites, and half Gilead, the border of Sihon, king of Heshbon. Them did Moses the servant of the Lord, and the children of Israel smite. And Moses the servant of the Lord gave it for a possession unto the Reubenites and the Gadites, and the half-tribe of Manasseh. The Kings Defeated by Joshua and these are the kings of the country which Joshua and the children of Israel smote on this side Jordan, on the west, from Balgad in the valley of Lebanon, even unto the Mount Halak that goeth up to Seir, which Joshua gave unto the tribes of Israel for a possession according to their divisions, in the mountains and in the valleys, and in the plains and in the springs, and in the wilderness and in the south country the Hittites, the Amorites, and the Canaanites, the Perizzites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites, the king of Jericho, one, the king of Ai, which is beside Bethel, one, the king of Jerusalem, one, the king of Hebron, one, the king of Jarmuth, one, the king of Lachish, one, the king of Eglon, one, the king of Gezer, one, the king of Debir, one, the king of Geder, one, the king of Hormah, one, the king of Arad, one, the king of Libna, one, the king of Adalam, one, the king of Makedah, one, the king of Bethel, one, the king of Tapua, one, the king of Hefer, one, the king of Aphek, one, the king of Lasharon, one, the king of Medon, one, the king of Hazor, one, the king of Shimron Meron, one, the king of Ashfaf, one, the king of Tanakh, one, the king of Megiddo, one, the king of Kadesh, one, the king of Jokniam of Carmel, one, the king of Dor in the coast of Dor, one, the king of the nations of Gilgal, one, the king of Tirzah, one, all the kings thirty and one. The land yet to be possessed. Now Joshua was old and stricken in years, and the Lord said unto him, Thou art old and stricken in years, and there remaineth yet very much land to be possessed. This is the land that yet remaineth, all the borders of the Philistines, and all Geshuri, from Sihor, which is before Egypt, even unto the borders of Ekron northward, which is counted to the Canaanite, five lords of the Philistines, the Gazathites and the Ashadathites, and Eshkenalites, and the Gedatites, and the Ekronites, also the Avites, from the south all the land of the Canaanites, and Mirah, that is beside the Sidonians, unto Aphek, to the borders of the Amorites, and the land of the Giblites, and all Lebanon, toward the sun rising, from Balgad, under Mount Hermon, unto the entering into Hamath. All the inhabitants of the hill country, from Lebanon unto Mesrifoth the Maim, and all the Sidonians, them will I drive out from before the children of Israel. Only divide thou it by lot unto the Israelites for an inheritance, as I have commanded thee. Now therefore divide this land for an inheritance unto the nine tribes and the half-tribe of Manasseh, with whom the Reubenites and the Gadites have received their inheritance, which Moses gave them, beyond Jordan eastward, even as Moses the servant of the Lord gave them. 
from Aroer, which is upon the bank of the river Arnon, and the city that is in the midst of the river, and all the plain of Medeba into Dibon, and all the cities of Sihon, king of the Amorites, which reigned in Heshbon, unto the border of the children of Ammon and Gilead, and the border of the Geshurites, and the Machathites, and all Mount Hermon, and all Bashan unto Salkah, in all the kingdom of Og in Bashan, which reigned in Ashtaroth, and in Edri, who remained of the remnant of the giants. For these did Moses smite, and cast them out. Nevertheless the children of Israel expelled not the Jeshurites nor the Machathites, but the Geshurites and the Machathites dwell among the Israelites until this day. The Inheritances Given by Moses Only unto the tribe of Levi he gave none inheritance. The sacrifices of the Lord God of Israel made by fire are their inheritance, as he said unto them. And Moses gave unto the tribe of the children of Reuben inheritance according to their families. And their coast was from Aroer, that is on the bank of the river Arnon, and the city that is in the midst of the river, and all the plain by Medeba, Heshbon, and all her cities that are in the plain, Dibon, and Bamothbael, and Bathmaelmeon, and Jahazah, and Kedemoth, and Mephthah, and Kirjathame, and Sibmah, and Zareth Shahar in the mount of the valley, and Beth Peor, and Ashdoth Pisgah, and Beth Jeshimoth, and all the cities of the plain, and all the kingdom of Sihon, king of the Amorites, which reigned in Heshbon, whom Moses smote with the princes of Midian, Evi, and Rechem, and Zor, and Hor, and Reba, which were dukes of Sihon, dwelling in the country. Balaam, also the son of Beor, the soothsayer, did the children of Israel slay with the sword among them that were slain by them? And the border of the children of Reuben was Jordan, and the border thereof. This was the inheritance of the children of Reuben after their families, the cities and the villages thereof. And Moses gave inheritance unto the tribe of Gad, even unto the children of Gad, according to their families. And their coast was Jazer, and the cities Gilead, and half the land of the children of Ammon, unto Eroer, that is before Rabbah, and from Heshbon unto Ramath Mizpah, and Betanim, and from Mahanaim unto the border of Debir, and in the valley Bethram, and Beth Nimrah, and Succoth, and Zaphon, the rest of the kingdom of Sihon, king of Heshbon, Jordan and his border, even unto the edge of the sea of Chinnereth, on the other side Jordan eastward. This is the inheritance of the children of Gad after their families, the cities, and their villages. And Moses gave inheritance unto the half-tribe of Manasseh, and this was the possession of the half-tribe of the children of Manasseh by their families. And their coast was from Mahanaim, all Bashan, all the kingdom of Og, king of Bashan, and all the towns of Jair, which are in Bashan, threescore cities. And half Gilead, and Ashtaroth and Edre, cities of the kingdom of Og in Bashan, were pertaining unto the children of Machir, the son of Manasseh, even to the one half of the children of Machir by their families. These are the countries which Moses did distribute for inheritance in the plains of Moab, on the other side Jordan by Jericho eastward. But unto the tribe of Levi Moses gave not any inheritance. The Lord God of Israel was their inheritance, as he had said unto them. Canaan divided by Lot And these are the countries which the children of Israel inherited in the land of Canaan, which Eleazar the priest, and Joshua the son of Nun, and the heads of the fathers of the tribes of the children of Israel, distributed for inheritance to them. By lot was their inheritance, as the Lord commanded by the hand of Moses, for the nine tribes and for the half-tribe. For Moses had given the inheritance of two tribes, and an half-tribe on the other side Jordan. But unto the Levites he gave none inheritance among them. For the children of Joseph were two tribes, Manasseh and Ephraim. Therefore they gave no part unto the Levites in the land, save cities to dwell in, with their suburbs for their cattle and for their substance. As the Lord commanded Moses, so the children of Israel did, and they divided the land. 
Hebron given to Caleb. Then the children of Judah came unto Je- Joshua in Gilgal, and Caleb the son of Jephunneh, the Kenizzite, said unto him, Thou knowest the thing that the Lord said unto Moses, the man of God, concerning me and thee in Kadesh Barnea. Forty years old was I when Moses, the servant of the Lord, sent me from Kadesh Barnea to Espy out the land, and I brought him word again as it was in mine heart. Nevertheless, my brethren that went up with me made the heart of the people melt. But I wholly followed the Lord my God, and Moses swear on that day, saying, Surely the land whereon thy feet have trodden shall be thine inheritance, and thy children's forever, because thou hast wholly followed the Lord my God. And now, behold, the Lord hath kept me alive, as he said, these forty and five years, even since the Lord spake his, this word unto Moses, while the children of Israel wandered in the wilderness. And now, lo, I am this day fourscore and five years old. As yet I am as strong this day as I was in the day that Moses sent me. As my strength was then, even so is my strength now, for war, both to go out and to come in. Now therefore give me this mountain, whereof the Lord spake in that day, for thou heardest in that day how the Anakims were there, and that the cities were great and fenced. If so be the Lord will be with me, then I shall be able to drive them out, as the Lord said. And Joshua blessed him, and gave unto Caleb the son of Jephunneh Hebron for an inheritance. Hebron therefore became the inheritance of Caleb the son of Jephunneh the Kenizzite unto this day, because that he wholly followed the Lord God of Israel. And the name of Hebron before was Kerjatharba, which Arba was great man among the Anakims, and the land had rest from war. The territory allotted to Judah. This then was the lot of the tribe of the children of Judah by their families. Even to the border of Edom was the wilderness of Zin, southward was the uttermost part of the south coast. And their south border was from the shore of the salt sea, from the bay that looketh southward. And it went out to the south side to Malachrabim, and passed along to Zin, and ascended up on the south side unto Kadesh Barnea, and passed along to Hezron, and went up to Adar, and fetched a compass to Karka. From thence it passed toward Asmon, and went out unto the river of Egypt, and the goings out of that coast were at the sea. This shall be your south coast, and the east border was the salt sea, even unto the end of Jordan. And their border in the north quarter was from the bay of the sea at the uttermost part of Jordan. And the border went up from Bethholgla, and passed along by the north of Bethrabah, and the border went up to the stone of Bohan the son of Reuben. And the border went up toward Debir from the valley of Accor, and so northward, looking toward Gilgal, that is before the going up to the Adamim, which is on the south side of the river. And the border passed toward the waters of Enshemesh, and the goings out therefore was Enragel. And the border went up by the valley of the son of Hinnom, unto the south side of the Jebusite. The same is Jerusalem. And the border went up to the top of the mountain that lieth before the valley of Hinnom westward, which is at the end of the valley of the giants northward. And the border was drawn from the top of the hill unto the fountain of the water of Nephtoah, and went out to the cities of Mount Ephron. And the border was drawn to Bala, which is Kerjatherjimim, and the border compassed from Bala westward unto Mount Seir, and passed along unto the side of Mount Jerim, which is Chesalon, on the north side, and went down to Beth Shemesh, and passed to Timnah. And the border went out onto the side of Ekron northward, and the border was drawn to Shikron, and passed along to Mount Bala, and went out onto Jabneel, and the goings out of the border were at the sea. And the west border was to the great sea, and the coast thereof. This is the coast of the children of Judah, round about according to their families. Caleb comp- conquers Hebron and Debir. And unto Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, he gave a part among the children of Judah, according to the commandment of the Lord to Joshua, even the city of Arba, the father of Anak, which city is Hebron. And Caleb drove thence the three sons of Anak, Sheshai, and Ahaman, 
and Talmai, the children of Anak. And he went up thence to the inhabitants of Debir, and the name of Debir before was Kerja Sefer. And Caleb said, He that smiteth Kerja Sefer and taketh it, to him will I give Aksha, my daughter, to wife. And Othniel, the son of Canaz, the brother of Caleb, took it, and he gave him Aksha, the daughter, to wife. And it came to pass, as she came unto him, that she moved him to ask of her father a field. And she lighted off her ass, and Caleb said unto her, What wouldest thou? Who answered, Give me a blessing, for thou hast given me a south land. Give me also springs of water. And he gave her the upper springs and the nether springs. The cities of Judah. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Judah, according to their families. And the uttermost cities of the tribe of the children of Judah, toward the coast of Edom, southward, were Kabzeel, and Eder, and Jagger, and Cana, and Demona, and Adada, and Kadesh, and Hazor, and Ithnon, Ziph, and Telem, and Bealoth, and Hazor, Hadata, and Kerioth, and Hezron, which is Hazor, Amam, and Shema, and Mol- Molada, and Hazargada, and Heshmon, and Bethpalet, and Hazar Shual, and Beersheba, and Bizjostha, Balaam, and Lim, and Azim, and Eltalad, and Chesel, and Horma, and Ziklag, and Madmana, and Sansana, and Lobothoth, and Shilim, and Ain, and Rimon. All the cities are twenty and nine with their villages. And in the valley, Eshtual, and Zoria, and Ashna, and Zanoa, and Enganim, Tapua, and Enam, Jarmuth, and Adalam, Soko, and Azekah, and Sharain, and Adathim, and Gedorah, and Gedorathim, fourteen cities with their villages, Zenon, and Hadasha, and Migdalgad, and Dilian, and Mezpeh, and Jokthil, Lachish, and Boskath, and Eglon, and Kaban, and Laman, and Kithlish, and Gedaroth, Bethdagon, and Nama, and Makada, sixteen cities with their villages, Libna, and Ether, and Ashan, and Jifta, and Ashna, and Nazib, and Kila, and Azgzib, and Marasha, nine cities with their villages, Ekron with her towns and her villages, from Ekron even unto the sea, all that lay near Ashdod with their villages, Ashdod with her towns and her villages, Gaza with her towns and her villages, unto the river of Egypt, and the great sea, and the border thereof. And in the mountains, Shamir and Jatir and Sokoh, and Dana and Kerjasana, which is Debir, and Anab, Eshtema, and Anim, and Goshen, and Holon, and Gilo, eleven cities with their villages, Arab, and Duma and Eshin, and Janum, and beth and Apaka, and Humta, and Kerjatharba, which is Hebron, and Zior, nine cities with their villages, Maon, Carmel, and Ziph, and Judah, and Jezreel, and Jokdeam, and Zanoa, Cain, Gabeah, and Timnah, ten cities with their villages, Halhul, Bethzur, and Gedor, and Marath, and Bethanoth, and Elkaton, six cities with their villages, Kerjath-Baal, which is Kerjath-Jerim, and Rabbah, two cities with their villages, in the wilderness, Betharabah, Midden, and Sekakah, and Nibshan, the city of salt, and Engedi, six cities with their villages. As for the Jebusites, the inhabitants of Jerusalem, the children of Judah could not drive them out, but the Jebusites dwell with the children of Judah at Jerusalem unto this day.